Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. This is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of Foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns is not indicative of future results. Any mentions of rates and guarantees provided by insurance products and annuities are subject to the financial strength of the issuing company, not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. Each individual investor situation is different, and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in states where it is properly registered, or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by securities regulators and does not mean that the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. A Roth conversion may not be suitable for your situation. The primary goal in converting retirement assets into a Roth IRA is to reduce the future tax liability on the distributions you take in retirement or on the distributions of your beneficiaries. The information provided is to help you determine whether or not a Roth IRA conversion may be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Please review your retirement savings, tax, and legacy planning strategies with your legal or tax advisor to be sure a Roth IRA conversion fits into your planning strategies. No legal or tax advice is provided. Always consult with a tax professional. All rights reserved. And now, how to retire with Fuchs Financial. The main thing for the majority of the listeners out there who are approaching retirement is I don't want to be surprised. Helping you build, preserve, and manage your wealth. You've got Roth IRAs, you have individual accounts. And finding the right taxable strategy, that's, that's going to be huge for you. Welcome in, Welcome in to How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. Welcome to the show. This is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm your consumer advocate, Gary Nolan, here to help you take charge of your money is Ben Fuchs. Ben is a certified financial planner, certified private wealth advisor, professional and fiduciary with over 20 years experience in the business. Each week on the show, we talk about wealth accumulation, asset protection, long-term care strategies, social security, and so much more. But before we bring Ben in, I want to remind you, make sure you get the How to Retire Blueprint. It's a comprehensive review of your financial situation because you really deserve a more confident plan to retire. Let me give you that phone number right off the bat. 800-380-8985. No cost, no obligation, nothing to lose. 800 800- 380-8985. Let's bring Ben in. Ben, how you doing today? It's great, man. Thanks for asking. How are you, sir? We're doing good. Is it still okay to say Happy New Year? That's my question. <laughs> I think we can run with it. I, I feel like we have at least another month. <laughs> okay. But if you say it in May, it's a little too late. All right? Well, uh, people don't appreciate, you know, a good, uh, good Happy New Year. <laughs> I know. We really need it. We all need a Happy New Year. So with that in mind, Ben, New Year, new resolutions. Today, we're going to explore how to set execute, and succeed at improving your finances and reaching your financial planning goals for 2024. That's exactly what we need to do. Get this now. 417 Americans aged 18 to 64 were surveyed about their 2024 New Year's resolution, and the results were shocking, shocking to say the least, Ben. Why don't you share this wonderful information with us? (laughs) (laughs) All right. So according to Statista's Consumer Insight Survey, saving money is at the forefront of the minds for many Americans, particularly those making resolutions for the year, where in previous years, hoping to lose a few pounds from the holidays or hit the gym more regularly, held the top positions when it came to New Year's resolutions, whereas now, financial resolutions have leapfrogged the others to become the most commonly cited resolution this year. So we gave up on losing weight? Is that, is that what's <laughs> I mean, I know I have a long time ago, Gary, yeah, but I can't too. speak for the rest of the country. Come on, man. Well, that's surprising. You know, I assume that traditional resolutions regarding physical health were securely holding the top spot when it comes to New Year's resolutions. What else can you tell us about this? Uh, so the Motley Fool's Ascent uh, financial New Year's resolution survey results found that two thirds of Americans planned at least to make plan to make at least one financial resolution to kick off 2024. What do you think that is? What do you think has changed uh, with Americans thinking that now they really need to get a hold of their uh, their finances? And interesting, this survey uh, that was done, uh, the first survey I talked about, 417 Americans, they were aged from 18 to 64. So even young folks are worried about retire- saving for retirement? What do, what do you think? Uh, I mean, uh, there are a few things. Uh, most notably is that w- the cost of renting, the cost of, of housing, I feel like is such a greater portion of people's income than it used to be. We have such a huge 
boom in terms of the, the cost of buying homes. And there's so few homes on the market, people don't want to switch homes and go to another one. You talk about the, the interest rate hike, right? So, you know, I've got young families that I know where they have a three, three and a half percent mortgage and they know they need to get a bigger house. But to do that, they would have to jump to an 8% mortgage on a bigger home. And that's just too big of a leap for a lot of people. And it, it's difficult. So that means that there's fewer starter homes on the market because people aren't getting out of the other ones, which means that people can charge more for rent because, again, availability is low. And so all of a sudden, people have to look at these things much closer. And, you know, there are situations where, you know, if I'm an 18 year old, I mean, look, the, the only thing that I wanted to do was to live on my own and to not be living with my parents. Right? Mm -hmm. That was the most important thing for me when I was younger. At the same time, the worst thing that I could have done financially is move out on my own too soon. Right. Taking on that burden, the longer that I could live under their roof with them paying the electric and getting food and everything else, you know, the way more opportunities to save. And so it's an interesting a time, it's an interesting climate, but it certainly makes sense why it's on the forefront of so many people's minds. So ramen noodles for you for a number of years while you were on your own? Is that what it was? <laughs> uh, man, you do what you got to do, right? Yeah, exactly. I'll, 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 yeah. I won't say no to anything. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, free food. Okay, there we go. All right, I want to remind everybody, the show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. The phone number to get that comprehensive How to Retire blueprint, 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. Do it now. Nothing to lose. You deserve a more confident plan to retire. You want to be stress-free. You want peace of mind. We're going through this survey here of 417 Americans aged between 18 and 64 about their New Year's resolution. The fact that, you know, uh, saving money for retirement has eclipsed, uh, you know, losing a few pounds. You know, the gyms are still full. I give it another uh, couple of weeks before that tapers off, Ben. Yeah, am I right? <laughs> I, 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 too, have found that. I, too, have found that. But, you know, what's interesting? thing is that the, the top concerns raised in that survey were no real surprise, right? Interest rates and inflation. 85% of respondents with a financial New Year's resolution think inflation will make it harder to meet their goals and 80% see higher interest rates as a challenge, which goes along with that whole, you know, switching homes, finding a new place to live, even moving down. I know a lot of uh, older clients, out of my clients are looking to say, okay, can I can I sell my bigger house? Can I buy something smaller? But if I can't pay off the whole thing right away when I sell, I'm just going to have to get a mortgage. And it doesn't even make sense. I won't even be saving money to be downsizing. Mm -hmm. But you think you know, from what I hear, you, you suspect interest rates to come down this year? I mean, the Fed making that change eventually? So I want people to listen carefully here. One of the reasons that the market went up so much toward the end of last year, November and December last year, is because people priced in some significant rate cuts. OK, people were very euphoric in terms of what they expect, you know, rate cuts to be and they think they're going to come down. I don't know if that is the case. I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm not saying that it won't happen. I'm saying that people won't cut rates, but I have a lot of people that have been buying bonds recently because they expect prices to drop dramatically. And that just might not be what happens. We still have a relatively tight labor market. That causes the supply and jobs and, and new jobs to, to lessen. And that means that things are still going to be high. Inflation isn't necessarily going to come careening down. What we're seeing is the rate of inflation slowing. What does that mean? Great question, Gary. Thank you so much for asking. I was just asking. about to ask that, Ben, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, I, I already can read mine. So <laughs> the rate of inflation is how fast things are going up in price. That doesn't mean that we have deflation. It doesn't mean that things are actually falling in price. It just means that things are still going up, just not going up as fast as they used to. So it's difficult because it's a tough line for the Fed to try and a tough target for the Fed to try and hit. We're fighting between having too much opportunity and too much job growth and too much incentive almost for new jobs, which you think is counterproductive. We want people to make more money and make more real money, right? The ability to buy more things. At the same time, whenever that happens, prices go right along with it. And a lot of people will say, hey, it's necessary. You know, the cost of fuel, well, the cost of fuel is starting to go down. There's some fighting, internal fighting within OPEC, um, causing some of the cost of gasoline to go down, which should, things, which should be in that positive and should have a good impact on inflation. 
But ultimately, I'm not convinced that we're going to see rates drop. I'm not convinced that they want to spark the market and spark the labor market and spark things so fast and furious that they're going to have to, again, raise rates again just to tamper that back down. So I really want people to temper their expectations. I don't want people to expect huge gains or necessarily huge losses in the market. But I think you have to prepare for either. You know, yeah. One thing, you know, a really interesting point, Ben. You're, you're right about inflation. It's not. It's going. You know, it's not. It's going up at a slower pace now. If you, you know, what was it last year? It was around nine percent or something around that. So now it's about three percent. But it's it's stacked. So overall, price is up like twelve percent in the last year or so. Is that right? Is that the right way to look at it? Yeah, I mean, you've got compound inflation, right? So I think you you look at the Social Security numbers, and Social Security went up by eight point seven percent for twenty twenty three, and in twenty twenty four went up by 3.2%. So yeah, those have gone up. And you know, look, you go to the grocery store and you don't think prices have gone down. Maybe they're not rising as fast as they used to, but they are. And ultimately, look, I, I think that it if you look at what my job is, you know, when people come to see us, when people come clients over at Fuchs Financial, what is our job? And our job is to help prepare people for what could happen. And the reality is we don't have a crystal ball. Nobody here on our staff, to the best of my knowledge, can see the future. But what we can do is prepare for it. We know there could certainly be a recession. We know inflation could continue to go up. We know rates could fall. We want to make sure that we're in a position that no matter what happens, we're able to generate a consistent and predictable income that you can rely on and not have to worry about the market every day. Because the last thing anybody wants to do just turn on their TV and see that guy with his sleeves rolled up, throwing papers all around the room, saying the market's crashed and, you know, your retirement's in jeopardy. And, you know, if you plan to have two years before you can retire, now you might have to push that date back because your, you know, 401k just dropped by 10 or 15 or 20 or 25 percent. We don't want that to be the case. We don't want people to lose 100, 200, 300,000 dollars overnight in their 401ks. Our goal is to protect people to make sure that if they plan to retire in two years and they're able to right now, that they still can in two years, no matter what happens with the market. So if that's you, if you have these concerns, if you feel like, hey, I I just could use a plan, pick up the phone, give us a call. Let's see what we can do to help put you in the best position for retirement. Yeah, great advice, Ben. Here's that phone number. Get on the calendar. Get yourself all set up with the How to Retire Blueprint, 800-380-8985. This is your chance to benefit from the How to Retire Blueprint. Call right now. We still have a limited number of availabilities on our calendar this week. And remember, the consultation is offered no cost or no obligation. So what are you waiting for? You deserve a more confident plan to retire. You want to be stress-free. You want peace of mind as you move into retirement. 800-380-8985. The folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by. Get on the calendar. Do it right now. One more time on the number before we go to break, 800-380-8985. All right. We'll take that break right now. Be back with more of Ben and how to retire in just a moment. What's up next, sir? All right. 80% of New Year's resolutions are abandoned by February. When we come back, how to set and meet your financial resolutions in the year ahead. He's letting the clock run out on his Social Security to age 70 for maximum benefits. And here comes the Roth conversion. He's locked in for income for life. He's got some outstanding coaching with that annuity plan. He's created his own pension as well. And it looks like he's going to go all the way. Play your best retirement game. Call Ben Fuchs at Fuchs Financial, 800-380-8985, 800-380-8985. Welcome back to the show. This is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm your consumer advocate, Gary Nolan. And here to help you take charge of your money is Ben Fuchs. Ben is a certified financial planner, certified private wealth advisor, professional, and fiduciary with over 20 years' experience in the business. I want to give the phone number right off the bat here. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. It's a comprehensive report, no cost or no obligation. Really want to get on Ben's calendar, get yourself all set up for this year. Get yourself in great financial shape. We're talking about uh, New Year's resolutions in just a second again. 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. Do it right now while you're thinking about it. All right. So, folks, often kick off the new year 
with a hopeful idea of what to accomplish now in the form of resolutions. Now, many of them have to do with finances. And while 92% of New Year's resolutions aren't met by the end of the year, 80%, wow, 80% abandoned by February, as you know, if you go into the gym January 1st, like uh, a couple of weeks ago, and now go, you know, wait till the end of the month, it'll be empty again. Uh, Anyway, 80% are abandoned by February. Now, you can become the exception to the statistic, not the rule. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to discuss how you can establish financial resolutions for 2024 and build a path to success. Uh, Let me give you the first one, Ben. We'll go through these one at a time. Learn from last year. What do we mean by that? Yeah. So what about 2023 worked and what didn't? This is a great place to learn and build from. Where could your finances benefit from adjustments, tweaks, and changes? How about investing in uh, furthering your financial knowledge? What we, sh- what sh- I mean, that's what that's what you do too every day, and we we call it knowledge transfer, Ben. When you talk with clients and potential clients, right? Right. And so, what do you believe you'd benefit from learning more about in the financial world? There are materials, programs, workshops that give you the chance to expand your financial knowledge without spending a dime. I know that we do tax webinars for people. We do social security webinars for people. We do them in person. Part of our goal is to educate as much as we can and give people the opportunity to ask questions in a live setting without having to commit overall to, you know, to, to having us manage all their money, which, by the way, we should do anyway but that the goal is to give people the opportunity to learn the things that are critical for them as they are approaching retirement now in all phases of financial literature there's so many different options for you and there's so many different things where that comes from i just want to say books on tape because apparently i'm old now and that's what we had but i'm you know we could say things like audible or whatever it is that people use but that's the opportunity, you know, for me, because I'll drive between offices. I've got time in the car. Sometimes I consider myself a taxi driver because I do have three children. Oh, boy. Yeah. Right. There, there are opportunities there where we can kind of sit and listen. And, you know, sometimes I do love to have my nine and six year old complain about some financial nonsense going on in the background. <laughs> this is so boring. <laughs> no. Hey, pay attention, man. You can learn something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, those yeah. are things that are, are great opportunities for you to invest in and really give yourself, I feel like, more control. And if not more control, then the ability to ask more questions. Yeah. You know, one thing we talk about from time to time, Ben, you know, retirement planning is not a do-it-yourself situation. There's too many, you know, moving parts, too many puzzle pieces, whatever you, you know, can say about that. And saving for retirement is key. I want to play a clip for you. Uh, this is from the guy who throws papers in the air and rolls up his sleeves. I think you were talking about. This is from uh, Jim Cramer. No idea who you're talking about. Yeah, no yeah. idea. Who? who? Jim Cramer. Who? Who? And uh, here's oh. what he had to say about saving for retirement. And when it comes to managing your money, nothing is more important than retirement. Sooner or later, you're going to stop working. Hopefully sooner rather than later, unless you really love your job. So I'm betting most of you, even if you don't own individual stocks, still have some money in a 401k plan. Now, decades ago, corporate pensions started going the way of the dodo. And now the 401k is the main way that Americans save for retirement. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think about uh, Jim's comments? I mean, look, I, I generally speaking, I hate to agree with him on anything. But uh, <laughs> that being said, <laughs> that being said, the saving is key. And, you know, when it really goal setting, I think a lot of it is making, you know, a actionable, specific goals, things that you know that you can hit, things that you can write down and say, all right, I'm going to save X amount per month, and then I'm going to raise that by another X amount per month in February. You know, it, it's getting yourself on track. It's having a plan. And with retirement, absolutely right, absolutely critical. And so I think what we've done with our clients is over time, create goals where we're trying to slowly raise their 401k contributions to a point where we can have them maxed out if possible, right before they retire. Because doing that, again, helps them save money if we're doing it in the pre-tax. It helps them get used to spending less. And of course, it gives them a much bigger nest egg by the time that they have actually retired. So these are incredibly critical. But when it comes to goal setting, I think this is where a lot of the focus should be. Mm-hmm. But you got to set realistic goals for yourself. Otherwise, you're, you're setting yourself up for failure. Am I right, Ben? Well, yeah, there's no point in setting a goal that you can only do for a month or two, right? Just like I'm not going to plan to run 10 miles every morning. I mean, let's face it, Gary, we know that's not going to happen. Right. But we can set, you know, we can do something. And I think the important thing is not to try to do too much at once. I know every time 
I got a buddy of mine. We tend to work out together. And every time we do, we have these incredible goals for ourselves or how we're going to drop, you know, 45 pounds in a week. And <laughs> obviously, that's not realistic. And so when we'll start working out on these plans, you know, we'll go from nothing to working out two hours a day. And of course, that is not a sustainable plan for success. You need to build up and, you know, the slow build is what has been allowing us to keep ourselves on track and on pace. Not these massive goals, but just doing something and then building on it. And so even if you have very, very little money, putting away something and then building on it and then just putting away a little bit more when you can. Yeah. That's I, how yeah. you save for retirement. Yeah. I get winded. The other day I was walking my uh, grandson to the bus stop and we were really tight on time. I knew that that bus was going to come any minute. I did not want him to miss that school bus. So I mm. walked at a very brisk pace for about a, it's about maybe, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a couple of hundred yards. I mean, it's not like around the corner. So anyway, so as I got there and I was like huffing and puffing, <laughs> I go, can we leave a little more time next time? So I'm not like out of breath by the time I get here. And, you know, so yeah. So, yeah, realistic goals. So, this, so we, we have a goal for you to do a little bit more walking? Is that yes, the deal? Is exactly that what we're right. Like? That's what we're going to do. We're going to check on Gary's goals every week, people, before we cut to that. That's, yes. You know, our... <laughs> realistic goals. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. I want you to get that How to Retire blueprint. It's a comprehensive report, no cost or no obligation. The number is 800-380-8985, 800-380-8985. And uh, get yourself all set up with a great plan for 2024. All right. You know, many uh, advisors who are not have the credentials that you do, Ben, they don't deal with taxes at all. So you really need to make a deliberate plan to tackle taxes. And that's where you can help, too. Right. No question. Now, keep in mind, there are certain areas where I do better than others, specifically where it comes to investment planning. But if you're a small business owner and you feel like you're paying way too much in taxes, we can probably help you, too. We've been able to do that in the past with people. But when it comes to your plan and, you know, we know tax season is around the corner. I don't want to mention it too much because it'll creep up faster than we want it to. And I don't want to deal with it either. But we know that there are things that we can do throughout the year and this year to help in future years to help us pay less in taxes overall. So think about this. If you feel like last year you paid way too much in taxes from an investment account that you have and this coming year, you know what you're going to have likely to pay. Keep that in mind. Are you making a plan to pay less in taxes? Or are you just going to get hit with the same dividend capital gain bill that pays that you have to pay way more than you wanted to? If that's the case, then you should make a plan to to you know, to minimize that, to, to not have the same taxable burden that you have every single year. There are things that you can do to significantly reduce that, and you should be taking action. Mm-hmm. Hey, that phone number again is 800-380-8985. Get yourself on Ben's calendar. Get yourself up with that comprehensive plan, the How to Retire Blueprint, 800-380-8985. All right, have a plan for the unexpected, unforeseen, and emergencies. There are three things here, Ben, if we can get through these uh, with the next couple of minutes. Create an emergency fund review or consider Consider life insurance, revise, or begin estate planning. Right. So the number one people that the number one reason that people get into heavy, heavy debt is because they don't have an emergency fund. We know things will happen. We know the unexpected will happen. And creating an emergency fund is just three to six months worth of expenses that you have in a bank account that you consider your insurance policy. No, it's not going to make you a lot of money. No, that's not the goal. It's just there to take care of you in case something bad happens. And the reason that you need that is because you don't want to have to go into debt or to have to get a line of credit or to have to take money from somewhere else to pay for an emergency. So an emergency fund, critical. If you will consider life insurance, look. If you if people are depending on your income and if you weren't here anymore, they don't have a backup plan. You need life insurance. You got to take care of the people that love you. I don't love talking about it. It's a morbid topic, yep. but it's a reality. Mm-hmm. So it's necessary. Mm-hmm. And then as far as estate planning goes, how many of us and you can nod your head in the car or nod your head at home. How many of us have heard about families breaking apart? infighting because proper estate planning wasn't done because things weren't laid out properly. You don't want that to happen to yours. And you don't need some crazy expensive plan. You don't need to spend a million dollars on a trust. For a lot of people, having a simple will and a few directions in there makes a lot of sense. Just as important as that is to create powers of attorney, spring power of attorney. Something happens to you from a medical perspective, you need somebody else to be able to pay for your bills. 
I ran into a family where that happened recently. And now they're having trouble being able to pay some of the bills for their father because he never wanted anybody else to know where everything was. Mm -hmm. So if that's you, take care of that. But these are things that we talk about. These are the reasons that people come in to meet with us to get that how to retire blueprint because everybody's blueprint is totally different. Some people need a lot of help looking at the fees in their plan, looking at the investments they have, figuring out how they can generate income. And some people need to say, all right, hey, I don't have an estate planning attorney. I don't know who I should talk to about that. Can you put us in the right direction? Or, hey, who do we talk to about Medicare? That's all stuff that we help people figure out here at Fuchs Financial. That is our goal. That's the reason that we exist. And we're here to help people live a wonderful, comfortable retirement where you don't have to worry about your investments or your money or worry about the market crashing. You can just know that somebody else is taking care of it for you. And that's our goal. So if you feel like you could use a second opinion, if you feel like you could use some help, if you feel like you don't have a plan, give us a call, pick up the phone. And we do a lot of appointments by Zoom. So whatever works best for you, give us a call. And let's see what we can do to help you live your best retirement. All right, folks, no cost, no obligation. Get a better handle on your financial situation. Find out what your investments are really costing you because of high fees or commissions, what future tax implications there'll be, and how much income you can securely generate from that once you do move into retirement. Pick up the phone right now. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. The folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by. The number is 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. The How to Retire Blueprint. Do it right now. We're going to take a short break. Be back with more of Ben and How to Retire in just a moment. What's up next? Coming up, we cover the current economic landscape as we embrace the new year and offer tips to help you cross the finish line with your financial resolution. We believe in better. A better way to invest. A better way to serve you. And a better result. We can help you determine how much risk you're taking. Red flags that could be potential problems for you how much you are paying in fees or commissions, potential tax liability, or even how to address Social Security. Call Ben Fuchs at Fuchs Financial, proudly serving all of Connecticut. Call today, 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. Welcome back to the show. This is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm your consumer advocate, Gary Nolan. And back with us to help you take charge of your money is Ben Fuchs. Ben is a certified financial planner, certified private wealth advisor, professional, and fiduciary with over 20 years of experience. I want to give you that phone number right now. Get the How to Retire blueprint. It's a complete report. It's a comprehensive support. Something you need as you move further into 2024. Get yourself up for a great financial shape. We talked about New Year's resolutions in the first two segments of the show here. And one of them is to have a specific plan, that uh, comprehensive plan, 800-380-8985. No cost or no obligation. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. All right. U.S. credit card debt surged to more than $1 trillion for the first time in 2023. Uh, my wife is a part of that. Congratulations. Uh, nearly 9 million students loans borrowers defaulted on payments. Uh, so what is that telling us about the future of the economy, Ben? What, should we worry about this? Absolutely. I mean, this is kind of what we saw as almost fallout from 2020, fallout from the pandemic, when people had more money to spend, inflation hadn't hit us as hard, people were able to spend more and do more. So they got used to a very specific lifestyle. And then as things started to get more expensive and wage growth did not keep up with that, meaning you know what people earned did not go up as fast as what people were spending, we had more and more credit card debt. This is a problem. And a lot of people at home are probably nodding their heads like, yeah, I've got a little bit more credit card debt than I thought I should have. That's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Let's get past it. Let's take care of it. Let's pay it down. But let's have a plan to spend less. And I think part of the deal with creating goals, with looking at our finances, is recognizing that we can't keep on doing what we've been doing and expecting things to get better. We can talk about the definition of insanity. I'll leave that alone. I've heard that so many times in my life that I might go crazy. But that's what it is. So the goal here is to make sure that you set a sending plan and you reduce that debt, you don't add to it. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. Yeah, interesting. So these debt consolidation companies, uh, Ben, uh, is this something we should uh, look into carefully because some are legit and some maybe not so legit? Uh, So, 
I mean, there are a few things here. Debt consolidation companies, I don't necessarily love. I think that there are other things that we can do. And right. we have, you know, advisors here that we can look at that will help you. I had a friend that did that. And I remember it was not difficult. There were better options that she found out after the fact that she right. could have used. This was, you know, 20 years ago mm-hmm, now, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, this was a long time ago. But I still remember she was locked into that rate. She couldn't pay things off early. They had, which was kind of the, you know, the counterproductive. Sure. And so we really want to focus on what we can control. And in some cases, you know, I've got clients that have played the 0% credit card game. That is a lot of ways much better if you can actually control the spending. But really creating a plan, really starting to focus on changing your lifestyle. One of the things that I've seen over the last decade of helping people with their debt is that when people pay off their debt right away, it creeps back up. Meaning some people get an inheritance, they pay off the debt, all of a sudden, six, eight, two years later, eight months, two years later, they have the same debt again. Mm -hmm. Or they take a line of credit off of their house, they pay off the debt, all of a sudden, bam, credit cards back up again. Instead of doing the hard work and changing the lifestyle and figuring out what certain, I don't know, habits that you have are causing the debt to be there. Mm-hmm. You need to change those in order to keep yourself out of debt. Right. I want to give you the phone number right now. Get the How to Retire Blueprint that we talk about each week on the show. 800-380-8985. Do it right now while you're thinking about it. You really deserve you know, peace of mind when you move to retirement. You want you know, a confident plan. You want to be... You know, feel good about it. It, it will. You'll feel great once you put this plan together, once Ben and his team put the plan together for you. 800-380-8985. No cost or no obligation. And by the way, the, the interest rates of some of these credit cards, I got one in the mail the other day, and I just looked at the back of it. It was like 35%. I said, yeah, that's going in the garbage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got five tips to help you along the way, Ben. Let's go through each one of these at a time. Be specific. What can we talk about that? Be precise. So instead of saying my New Year's resolution is to save money, put an actual number on it. If you want to contribute more to your 401k or IRA account, determine an exact value, like 10% or an exact number, right? You want to have an exact number that you're putting away. If you want to build up your savings account because you don't have three to six months worth of expenses saved for yourself, then you figure out a number. 100, 200, 1,000, 2,000, whatever that number is per month, per paycheck, whatever it may be, set a goal and be specific. Yeah. It's funny. My brother and I had a breakfast uh, last week. We were talking about, you know, saving money and retirement. We were both a little long in the tooth here, and we haven't done uh, as great job as we had hoped for. Uh, one thing he said, he says, you know, when you set yourself up with, the, you know, your your, your uh, debit card and there's a savings attached to it, don't link the card because it makes it more difficult to get at the money without moving into your checking accounts. I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, can't hurt. Yeah, absolutely. The other one is, uh, second one is be practical. Establishing attainable goals and setting realistic targets to achieve along with reasonable expectations is essential in setting yourself up for success. Making sure the goal aligns with your circumstances, current financial situation, income, and starting point. So everything has to be realistic, right? We can't just save our whole paycheck. We need to pay rent and electricity and mortgage or whatever it may be. So you have to be practical when you're setting these goals. Also, does it uh, relate to investment returns? Uh, I saw a survey a while back that uh, some folks expect to get like a 17% return on their money, on their investments, and that's not practical at all. Oh, it makes me crazy. I mean, and it's also not practical to assume that you're going to get a steady, consistent rate of return throughout retirement. The market is not steady and consistent. If that's what you're investing in, you can't expect to just get 6% or 7% or 8% without specific styles of investments. And so what we do is we use specific styles of investments so that we can give people a reasonable rate of return and what we expect them to get. And they know that before they begin paying us a fee. So, you know, they have a way to hold us accountable. But that's the other thing. I mean, the market is going to go down. Market goes down. You know, we have at some point throughout the years, I think it was like 36 of the previous 72 years. At one point, we had double digit negative returns in the S&P 500. Mm -hmm. So people just expect to have the steady, consistent growth. And unless you create a plan for it, you're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. Thank you for joining us, spending time with us this weekend. The phone number is 800-380-8985. 
800-380-8985. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. Folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by. You really deserve a more confident plan to retire. You want to be stress-free. You really want peace of mind when you move into retirement. Maybe in that retirement red zone we talk about, you know, five years out. Now's the time to act. 800-380-8985. Uh, we got a bunch of tips for you to uh, help you get out of that debt. Be specific. Be practical. Uh, be persistent is our third one, Ben. So I think this is the most critical. I mean, you know, mistakes happen, life happens, get up, move on, etc. But a lot of people want to, you know, I, I don't know if you remember this back in the day when I used to watch more TV as a kid, I would see uh, this, uh, this guy in sunglasses and a fancy suit standing next to a yacht telling <laughs> yeah. you how you can make, you know, be just like me, yeah. flipping real estate. I remember that. Buy my thousand dollar program and we can be on your way. <laughs> and you know, I mean, like you see that and you think, you know, so many times you hear these get rich quick schemes, but being persistent, steady, consistent, persistence, putting that money away, every paycheck, every that's how you build wealth. That's how you become millionaires. It's not by getting rich quick. Some people can get very, very lucky, but the vast majority of people that become millionaires are people that just work hard and put their money away and put their head down and just work hard on saving. I thought you were talking about the guys from Miami Vice at first. You know when you said that. Oh well, I, I, <laughs> those two. I, I would have bought whatever program they sold. Man. Yeah, come on, absolutely. Come on, they lived, they lived a great lifestyle. Those guys. Yeah, uh, be persistent. All right, be sure to celebrate when you make progress. Have a little celebration. Yeah, it's all. It's it's why not. I think it's important to reward yourself. You know, it's a little victory is not make a big difference. And when you're developing your resolution, make sure to establish rewards for yourself when you reach a pre-established milestone to keep the momentum going. I can tell you in our business, we have very specific goals that we like to set for ourselves. And when we do, when we hit them, we have very specific goals that we have, I mean, very specific rewards. And I can tell you that everybody in the office has buy-in because everybody wants those goals. Now, Sometimes I, as a business owner, wouldn't mind getting really, really close to that goal, but then not hitting it because then I don't have to pay out all the, you know. Wow. <clears throat> Honestly, transparent. I, I know. No, I mean, of course, I, of course, I would never act against my own best interest or sure. the interest of my employees. I don't think I'm a terrible of all, but whatever. We'll see. <laughs> but celebrating and building in celebrations for yourself really is important. Yeah. And the final one is uh, be sure to make a record of your resolution. You know, if it's not written down somewhere, it doesn't exist, I guess, huh? Right. I mean, you can have a written financial plan. You can just put pen to paper. You can put bullet points. You know, I mean, I think we all know how to create a Word doc. In fact, my sister made fun of me for not knowing how to use Google Slides the other day. I got roasted from like Ooh. three different members of my family because wow. it was my sister and then my wife and then my nine-year-old daughter apparently Ooh. also uses it in school. <laughs> and, I, you know, I, I use a Word doc. Yeah. I didn't realize that that was so old. Yeah. Apparently, I have to type with a cane now. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> however it works for you, however you want to put that down on paper, it has to be written, it has to be something that you can track and keep track of. My father, we have a reservoir near our house, uh, near his old house in, in West Hartford. And every time, every single time he walked that reservoir, he had a stopwatch, he started and stopped, and then he went right back to his Excel sheet and put the time in. And if mm -hmm. it was rainy, he put that in. And if he jogged the whole time, he put that in. And if he walked, he put that in. If he was walking with somebody else, because he wanted that to diagnose every single thing and understand every metric of why he would or wouldn't be faster. Now, you don't have to go to that extreme, but you have to record your progress. And when we meet with people, when we have reviews twice a year with all of our clients, we write down, where, here's where we were six months ago. Here's where we were a year ago. Here's how much we made this year. Here's how much the account went up. We have to do that to track our progress, to hold ourselves accountable, and so that you know that we're actually working for you. But look, a lot of people hear the stuff on the radio and say, I, I don't know when to take Social Security. I don't know if I'm paying as little in taxes as possible. I don't know how I'm going to create a paycheck for myself when I've retired from my investments. How do I do that? Well, that's what we do. We help you minimize taxes. We figure out when the best time is to take Social Security. And we help you figure out how to create a paycheck for yourself that will last as long as you do. So if you feel like you need help or a second opinion, 
pick up the phone, give us a call. 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. Do it right now while you're thinking about it. The folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by. You really deserve a more confident plan to retire. You want to be stress-free. You want peace of mind. That's what we always talk about on the show each week. 800-380-8985. Get the How to Retire blueprint. All right. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with more of Ben and How to Retire in just a moment. What's up next? Listeners have questions and we've got answers. That and more coming up next. If you've ever had a house built, you know the actual construction can't start until there's a plan in place or a blueprint. The same is true for retirement. Before you can successfully retire, you have to have a plan. Let's call it a green print. Ben Fuchs and Fuchs Financial are helping people just like you build retirement plans with a green print that is unique to you. Call today for a no-cost consultation that will include a forensic fee analysis that will show you all the fees you're currently paying and some you may not even be aware of. It will also include a tax analysis to reveal how you could possibly reduce your taxes. They'll even run a customized income plan which could turbocharge your retirement. In short, they can help you take the guesswork out of financial planning. Call Ben Fuchs today at 800-380-8985. 800-380-8985. Welcome back to the show. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I want to thank you for joining us, spending part of your weekend with us. I'm your consumer advocate, Gary Nolan. Back with us to help you take charge of your money is Ben Fuchs. A little bit about Ben. Ben is a certified financial planner, certified private wealth advisor, professional, and fiduciary with over 20 years' experience. Each week on the show, we talk about things that really matter to you, whether it's wealth accumulation, asset protection, wealth management, income planning, Social Security, and so much more. I want you to get the How to Retire Blueprint. That's a comprehensive plan that Ben puts together for you, no cost or no obligation, 800-380-8985. Everybody needs a roadmap to see where they are, not only see where they are, but where they need to be in the future, 800-380-8985. Do it right now. Get on Ben's calendar. Folks at Fuchs Financial are standing by. These are listeners uh, that sent in questions to us, so let's get ready. You all set to uh, get on the hot seat here, sir? Ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. Always excited. All right, here we go. Now, Ben has not seen these questions before. No, actually, he has, but (laughs) 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 we got to give you a little time to prepare. All right, Marge in Middletown. When people give the general goal for retirement, the 75 to 80 percent of your working income, is that net or gross? That's interesting. Never thought about it like that. And does that still hold true? Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't think it holds true at all. And I think typically it's uh, a, I think when they look at it, they look at I mean, if you're looking at the gross number for what you're making, uh, then it would be the same thing. Gross number for what you're you know, generating in retirement, gross of Social Security before taxes, gross of uh, uh, of the IRA money after taxes. I think the more important number is obviously net net meaning, you know, once the taxes have been taken out, sure. either way you look at those numbers, you could do it both gross, you know, or both net. But as long as they're consistent, it doesn't really matter. And it, it definitely doesn't hold true because I, I don't know. I don't know a lot of retirees that want to spend less when they retire mm-hmm. unless they're forced to. Right. right. Unless they're in a position that they didn't want to be in, that they got let go of or, you know, they, they just didn't do a great job saving. Most people that I talk to want to spend more money. And I think our job and our goal is to figure out if and how they can do it. Because if people want to spend more money in retirement, we want to help them spend more money in retirement. And if they can't spend more money in retirement, then we want them to know that before they've retired. We don't want people to retire and have to completely change their lifestyle. That's counter to the goal. So maybe they'll be happier working one or two more years or five or six more months or, you know, whatever. Don't don't get mad at me. I'm just the radio guy. But, you know, we want people to know that ahead of time before they pull the trigger, before they retire so that they can maintain the lifestyle that they want to. Yeah. And that's the goal to, you know, you really don't want to go backwards. You really want to be able to enjoy uh, your retirement. And, you know, Ben, uh, being a fiduciary and all the things we talked about at the beginning of the show here with uh, Ben's accomplishments, the fact that matter is that he's going to be completely transparent with you. And, you know, like you said, if you don't, you may not want to hear the news that you have to work a year or two more. But if that becomes apparent and that's something that's going to help you as you move into retirement, that's the reason why you need to see Ben. I want to give you the phone number again, 800-380-8985. Get the How to Retire Blueprint, 800-380-8985. Angelo and Avon, 
What are the benefits of a Roth 401k over a Roth IRA? Thanks, and Happy New Year. So Angelo said it's okay to say Happy New Year still. So there we go. Oh, We're good. Well, well, well ha- Happy New Year, Angelo. Thank you. Um, the benefits of a Roth 401k. When you're contributing new money into a plan, contributing new money into a Roth 401k, you can contribute a lot more into that Roth 401k. Now you can even have your employer match contributed into that Roth 401k as long as you pay the taxes the following year. So that means you can get over $30,000 into a Roth 401k and you don't have that same amount that you can put into, into a Roth IRA. Also, people say, I make too much money to put into a Roth 401k. And I say, no, you don't. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Well, you make too much money to put into a Roth IRA, but you don't make too much money to put into a Roth 401k. There are not income limits on a Roth 401k. Why do they have income limits on one and not the other? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't make these ridiculous rules. I just have to know them. (laughs) So, So those are the benefits of a Roth 401k over a Roth IRA. Well, Ben, given all those wonderful benefits, why would we ever move money from a Roth 401k to a Roth IRA? Great question. Thank you so much for asking. I was just about to ask that. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. You know, I'm here for you. So, the reason is because you typically have way more investment options inside of a Roth IRA than you do in a Roth 401k. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're managing all this money yourself and you're not going to talk to an advisor and you're not going to leave, then you may be better off leaving the money in the Roth 401k. But any advisor is likely to take that money out of the 401k, out of the Roth 401k and move it into the Roth IRA because there are so many more investment options and so many things that we can do that tend to help people get more money from a safe perspective to generate more income consistently. You can invest in individual stock portfolios. Those are all important things that you can do inside of a Roth IRA that you can't do in most 401ks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot more options. We know we talk about that all the time when it comes to uh, IRAs as opposed to 401ks. The show is How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm Gary Nolan, your consumer advocate. Thank you for joining us, spending part of your weekend with us. So once you get the How to Retire Blueprint, 800-380-8985, 800-380-8985. It's a comprehensive plan put together for you by Ben and his team at Fuchs Financial, 800-380-8985. Going through some questions that our listeners sent in. All right, let's go to Samantha in South. Barry, I have a 401k from a previous employer that I've been sitting rolling over into an IRA so I don't have two different big name companies involved in my finances. The problem is I'm down 12% on the 401k. Should I wait to recoup some of my losses or just roll over the 401k now? Uh, I think it always gets tricky when people try to wait for things to go up before moving the money. It so there's some caveats here, Samantha, because I don't know how old you are. I don't know how long the money is going to sit. And I don't know how aggressive that money is. Is it bond funds? Is it stocks? What are we looking at? Are we talking about the S&P 500 or small cap stocks, et cetera? So there are concerns, right? We see what happens if money is out of the market for too long. You know, how quickly can it get reinvested once it's been consolidated or once it's been rolled over into an IRA? If you are still working and you plan to work for another 10, 20 years, it may make sense just to leave it alone and have the separate 401k for a while. Uh, maybe not the, the common advice, but in that scenario, you probably don't necessarily want to take that money out of the market. Now, on the flip side, if you are five years or less away from retirement, then I wouldn't worry about it. Why? Why does it make a difference? Good question. Again, Gary, thank you so much for asking. So, <laughs> The reason here is that if you are close enough to retirement, it may make sense for you to get money out of the market either way. You can still have some money invested, enough in a different place where it can recoup those losses. You can do things where you're not completely and totally out of the market. But if right now you look at the amount of money that you have and you say, I can live comfortably for the rest of my life, or an advisor like us has told you that you can live comfortably for the rest of your life, then I wouldn't worry about it because you don't want to make the risk of that money going in the other direction. Your money could go down another 12% or more. And we've seen that happen. We've seen people say, hey, I'm fine. I'm going to leave it in. I'm going to let it ride. And, and then it goes in the other direction. So our goal is to help you be in the best position possible for retirement. And if we can tell you, hey, given what you have, right, given the amount of money that you saved, given everything that you're, you are fine and you don't need to worry about taking too much risk. 
then you can go ahead and, 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 and roll that money over. But on the flip side, if you're not, and you're going to let that money sit for another 20 years, then it may make sense just to leave it in that old company's 401k as long as the fees aren't too high. That's the other half of this, is that some 401k companies have charge almost nothing in fees, and some are way more expensive than you would consider. Does that make sense, Gary? Oh, absolutely. I, yeah, and that's why I think Samantha needs to come come see you, because like I talked about before, you know, when it comes to your retirement, it's too many moving parts, too many puzzle pieces. And the fact of the matter is, you know, even if you're in retirement, you still need uh, your investments to grow, Ben. Am I right? So you do have to take some risk in the market, correct? Yeah, you're always going to need some risk in the market. And if you want to be pretty basic about what we do, there are three buckets that everybody needs to have. And I don't care if you're a retiree. I don't care if you are um I, I, you know, I don't care where you are in this scenario, but as you approach retirement, you need to have a bucket that is going to be long-term growth. You need to have a bucket that is completely and totally safe because when the market crashes, you need to have a safe place to get money from. And then you need to have a bucket that is consistently giving you income. Where is your monthly paycheck coming from? If you do this exercise and you say, all right, I spend whatever it is, $10,000 a month. And I am going to get $3,000 a month from Social Security. Then at my current lifestyle, I'm going to need another $7,000 or so a month from my investments, $84,000 a year. What type of a rate of return do I need to get from what I have now to generate that $84,000 a year? And if the answer is 3.5%, great, you're fine, you can probably retire. But if the answer is 20%, we're not ready yet. That's way too much risk for you to need to take to try to get that type of return only for it to backfire on you. So, you know, all in all, we want to look at what we need, what we're trying to accomplish, what we need to get. These are all keys for us in how to retire. And the goal for us is to say, all right, look, you know, most people have trouble with this at home, but that's why we will print you out specific reports on exactly what type of rate of return you need to retire. How much money do you actually need based on that rate of return to, to hang it up? And where, where is the other money coming from? Are you lucky enough to have a pension from an old employer? Do we have Social Security coming in? You know, what are all the pieces that we have that we need to make sure that you can retire comfortably? But that's why you give us a call. That's why you come in. We do a free report for you just for that. And, you know, look, if we can help you, then we will. This is your chance to benefit from the How to Retire Blueprint. Call right now. We still have a limited number of availabilities on our calendar this week. And remember, no cost or no obligation. So what are you waiting for? Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Get on the calendar. Get yourself all set up this year for a comprehensive plan. Again, no cost or no obligation. Part of your New Year's resolution. You get yourself in great financial shape this year. 800-380-8985. You get a lot of peace of mind, too, when you do this. 800-380-8985. Get the How to Retire Blueprint. All right, the show has flown right on by. I'd like to thank everyone for listening. We hope you found the information we presented helpful. Look forward to all of you being back next week. We'll have new topics, new questions right here on How to Retire with Ben Fuchs. I'm going to say it for a final time, Ben. Thank you and Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Happy New Year, Gary. Appreciate it. Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, hereafter known as Foundations, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The content provided is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of Foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment, opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns is not indicative of future results. Any discussions of specific strategies are for information informational purposes only and have been provided to help determine whether they may be appropriate for your specific situation. If applicable, the primary goal in converting retirement assets into a Roth IRA is to reduce the future tax liability on the distributions you take in retirement or on the distributions of your beneficiaries. Each individual investor situation is different and ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in states where it is properly registered or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by securities regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. 
Nothing herein constitutes a recommendation that any security portfolio of securities or investment strategy is suitable for any person. No legal or tax advice is provided. Please review your retirement, tax, and legacy planning strategies with a legal or tax professional before transacting or implementing any strategy discussed herein. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not refer in any way to investment advisory products. Rates and guarantees provided by insurance products and annuities are subject to the financial strength of the issuing insurance company, not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. This is not endorsed or affiliated with the Social Security Administration, any federal Medicare program, or any U.S. government agency. If applicable, we do not offer every plan available in your area. Any information we provide is limited to those plans we do offer in your area. Please contact Medicare.gov or 1-800-MEDICARE to get information on all of your options. All rights reserved.